Lizelle Brandt here after practice with Trojan Offensive Coordinator Clay Helton. Now, Coach, let me back up a little second. Before spring ball, what were your goals heading into spring ball? Well, one, for quarterbacks to come in here, learn a new system, some new terminology, learn a very faster tempo than we had last year and try to gain, get accustomed to that. We're 10 practices in. Uh, we're getting there. We're not a finished product yet, but uh, thank goodness we have five practices to go. Let's talk a little bit more about the up-tempo um, shotgun style quarterback um, mm -hmm. offense that we're running. What are your thoughts on how the offense has gone? Well, I think it hurts our personnel uh, unbelievably right now. You look at the running backs that we have in the backfield. You know, Coach Sarkeesian last year at Washington was the 15th best rushing team in the country. You know, and now you have a Buck Allen, a Trey Madden, a Justin Davis, a Ty Isaac. You know, it, those are very talented backs. Then you put uh, the wide receivers that are around them also. You become very explosive down the field. Um, you saw the numbers that Coach put up last year with the weapons he has. We have very similar weapons here. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a very uh, very good carryover for Coach as a play caller. All right, talked about the school positions. What about the offensive line? One of the questions heading into spring ball was, you know, with the departures of Marcus Martin mm -hmm. and Kevin Graff, um, what is your outlook on, I guess, how is the um, position at center developing and the offensive line in general? Well, we're very excited that Max Turk is here. You know, you have not you have a guy that's had two years of experience now moving from tackle to guard now to center um, is picking up extremely quickly. Very excited about uh, Toa uh, at left guard right now as a young freshman coming in doing the things that, that he's done. Thank goodness Chad Wheeler got the experience that he did last year. And then we got several newcomers that are coming on the scene. Zach Banner's playing very well. So you got a bunch of young guys are talented. Thank goodness uh, we got Coach Drevno uh, coaching them up. Uh, you know, I think we've got a good amount of time to get them ready for that first game. Now, what about the quarterback's position? I know that Coach Sarkeesian announced that everything, every position would be up for grabs. Um, what are you seeing at the quarterback position right now? How happy are you with it? Very pleased. We're just trying to get better from day to day. We're not worried about depth chart or, or where we're at. We're trying to worry about the next play and how to perform that next play and get an accustomed to this system and this tempo. Uh, we'll let the chips fall where they may in the fall. It's our job in our room to become better as a quarterback core and that's what we're trying to do. What has been the most pleasant surprise of spring ball so far for you? Uh, just right now, just what Nelson Aguilar is doing, uh, you know, having learned under a Robert Woods, having learned under a Marquise Lee, and now, you know, he steps into that role and to see the leadership that he's he's producing out here and the plays that he's making, um, it makes you feel good that you still have that very dynamic receiver that can make those big plays. All right, two weeks left in practice. What are your goals towards the end? Uh, getting better with each day. I hope to I hope we walk away after the 15th practice and say, you know what, we became a better 15, a better team over 15 practices from day one to now. Um, we've got five to go. We've got a long way to go, and uh, we'll see you back out on Thursday. All right. Thanks so much, Coach Helton. For more videos like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And for more on your USC Trojans, make sure you visit wersc.com. For Coach Helton, I'm Lizelle Brandt. You're watching WeRSC.